Hello, you guys. Really quick. So I want to share with you what happened at work today. Great analogy. And I just love it. And so anyway, I go to work today and my boss is like, you need to go up to customer service and give the guy up there his lunch break. And all day at work, I have to look at these stupid Halloween decorations, depending on where I'm working in the store. And I'm just despising these Halloween decorations. Like, I just want to take a bat to every single Halloween decoration in that store. And I just was hating on the devil all day. Just like, man, I'm so sick of the enemy. And man, I'm so sick of him. And I just want to just take a baseball bat to all these Halloween decorations. And anyway, so I get up there. I give the guy his lunch break. And sure enough, as I get up there, there is a plastic snake wrapped around the post that's right next to the computer that I have to work at. And I'm like, you know what, Satan? I'm sick of you. I am sick of you and your mockery. So I take a pair of scissors and I clip this plastic snake's head off. Okay? Okay? <laughs> and then, so then, the guy comes back from lunch and he's like, who cut my plastic snake's head off? And I was like, huh. Huh. And so this other guy comes up that knows me very well. And the other guy's like, can you believe this? Somebody cut my plastic snake's head off. And the other guy who knows me really well, he looks at me and he goes, Ashley, did you cut the snake's head off? And I said, yeah, I cut the snake's head off. I did it. And I apologized to the other guy. I was like, look, I can get you another prop snake. I'm really sorry. I just had a really bad night. And I just had to cut his head off. I just had to. Just, you know. And he's like, so they all started laughing. And they, it was fine. And then he was like, it's okay. You know, I found that plastic snake on the ground. You know, it's not like I had bought it or anything. It's of no value. And I was like, really? It's of no value. I said, well, in that case, so I ripped the rest of the snake off, threw the, his head and the snake in the head of the snake and the, the body of the snake in the trash. And I said, really, then we can just throw him away. And then I took him out of the trash can, threw him on the ground, stomped on him a couple of times, then threw him back in the trash can. Okay. I said, well, if he's of no value, then he's trash. And then I went on my break and I thought, you know, that is a wonderful analogy of what Satan is. He is absolutely of no value. All of those CDs, all of those limited edition CDs and t-shirts that were signed are of no value in your life. These things are of no value until you start to see that the ways of this world and the enemy and the devil and the way he is and is of no value, then you will find it a lot easier to not fall into temptation in these things. And you will really start to see the value of Jesus Christ. So love all you guys. I hope this message edified you or at least give you a laugh. God bless you all. Love you all.